Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Mike Marco speaking here. And today we're going to cover an Excel tip here with regards to how to determine if cells have text values versus numeric values and how to quickly solve that problem. This is a problem I come across all the time when I'm dealing with data, especially from other sources external to my my own private, uh, my own personal uh, worksheets. And so one of the tricks you need to do here, say for instance you have a list of numbers, an easy way to determine if they are text or not, if you go control shift and then you press the number th sign or the th number th three key, which has a number sign on top, press that, and it converts these to dates except for the ones that are text. So I know these three are the problems. So another thing you can do, and I usually ignore these in the past, but I've learned that these green arrows here, they normally seem um, annoying because you select them because of this. I've recently discovered that if you were to click on the down arrow, you can actually what you can actually do is convert that to a number. By doing that, you see the green arrow disappears. I select these all again, go control shift three or the number sign, and you can see that we've actually solved that problem. That's a nice little trick. So you can do that, and that's one way of solving all that problem. Now let's try this little trick here. I'm going to take this, copy this number, select these. And I'm going to do is paste special. And the paste special I want to do here is I actually want to choose multiply. So I'm basically taking all these cells and multiplying it by one. And now I've done it. What this does here, it actually takes if it's a text um, field, it takes the nearest, most logical numeric value and uses that. And you can see here. That those those number signs have gone away because it was identical columns before. Now, if I were going to do that, Control Shift number sign, it shows that everything was fine. Well, we can actually just undo this here. I can show it to you before. Had I not done that number sign, you can see the error was there originally. So let's go ahead and do that again. I have selected, select these, go Paste Special. And do multiply. So I'm multiplying all these cells by one and actually solves the problem. That's one really quick way of solving that problem. So I showed you several different tips on how to deal with, first of all, locate, determine which ones are the texts, and then how to quickly solve that problem. Okay, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.